Good evening and welcome to the Bowerman Track Club Inner Squad meet tonight here in Portland, Oregon. I'm Andrew Bumbelow here along Dan Hewling. Uh, we are both Bowerman Track Club professionals ourselves uh, and we are here tonight to bring you a little coverage of tonight's meeting. Um, we have four events on tap. We have a women's 1500, a men's 1500, a women's 5K and a men's 5K. And so we're really excited to, to have the first set of competitions here uh, this season. Um, Coach Schumacher, I know, really wanted to, to be able to still have competitions this season, and it's been a challenge even just to get here. Uh, the athletes have gone through, through a lot of uh, mental juggling throughout the year so far to get to this point. And uh, we're just excited to get out here and, and prove some fitness and show what we've been working towards uh, for the entire um, greater part of 2020 so far. Um, I think it's important to note, first of all, that every precaution has been taken to hold, host this event. Um, every athlete has had to have two negative uh, COVID tests to be able to participate tonight. Um, we've really limited the amount of people that are have been allowed into the venue. Um, and everyone is wearing masks and maintaining social distance. And we're really just trying to listen to every uh, protocol and follow them very strictly so that uh, tonight can hopefully be the first of several events um, and everyone has a safe and enjoyable time. Um, we're really excited for tonight and thank you for joining us and uh, we look forward to what's about to come. So I'm here with uh, Dan Hewling at the track here in Portland, Oregon at an undisclosed location. Um, we're here for the women's 1500 and we're lining them up right now. We've got uh, Shelby Coolahan, American record holder. We've got Carissa Schweitzer and we have Emily Pritt. And they're off. There they go. They're starting out. We got Shelby Coolahan taking the lead and Carissa following in behind and uh, Emily Pritt settling back into third. I'm doing well. Yeah. It's it's been a it's been a tough time just like missing missing live sports and I missing know. missing competition. Here we are. We are we're out here uh, again at an undisclosed location in Portland, and watching some track and field live, uh, some real competition. And, uh, cloudy most of the day here. Uh, sun's out, kind of. Wind's blowing a little bit more than Jerry would like. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. He was commenting that all day. I think there was there was some disappointment about that. But here they come through, um, through about 300 meters. They're coming up to the 400 meter mark now for the first lap. Nice and steady. They look comfortable. Look relaxed. There is a rabbit. 65 flat. 65 flat. So lady. 65. Yeah, no doubt. They, they, they're just, you know, it's just the two of them really out there trading leads. So Carissa just took uh, the lead from Shelby, and uh, so she's taking the piss on, and yeah, having to kind of fight the wind a little bit. But yeah, we're all, I mean, it's a mix of, of where people are from and maybe how experienced they are with wind. Yeah, they're coming up here to 800 meters, and uh, we'll get the split from Coach Schumacher in just a second. 65-8, So that was a 65-8 second lap, so they're right on it. They're right where they need to be, and uh, they look good. Yeah, Chris is still taking the lead right now. She's still driving, kind of with that long, looking stride of hers, and Shelby's uh, right on her back there. That's right. That's right. Okay, so now Shelby is, is moved to the front, and uh, Chris will cut back in, and we'll just see what what they have here. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, and they look comfortable. They look really good to me. Uh, Shelby looks strong, and uh, Chris is right there. So we'll see what happens over this this last little bit. I don't know Chris that well, but uh, there he goes. Go. Shelby. Yeah, I know. Shelby just has that tight, compact form, and, and Carissa has a little longer reach, but she's always got a little bit left at the end. 65-2! So that was a 65-2. 300 meters to go. Ooh, Carissa pulled wide, and Shelby's kind of denying that front spot, so there's 200 meters to go. And Shelby still has the lead off the top of the curve. Chris is in striking distance. It's going to be a close one down the stretch here. Shelby's still in the front. Chris is pulling up. Shelby kind of digging in with those shoulders. Yeah, and it's going to be Shelby. It's going to be Shelby by about two yards. That was a good race. That was nice. I guess we'll see what the final time here is. Second. Okay.